When the machine starts up, it will be in reference mode. If you have pressed anything else, it will leave reference mode and you'll need to put it back in reference mode by pushing this button here. To home the tool changer, you press mag reference and you will see that it will home the carousel on the tool changer. As long as there is no tool in the spindle, it will be satisfied with this and you can tell that the tool changer is home because this orange light will light up above mag reference. If there's a tool in the spindle, you will get an alarm at the top of the screen telling you to take the tool out. To do that, open the shroud with this button up here. And you will put your hand on the tool and hold it, and then push this button up here to release the tool. Take the tool out. To load a program, you want to go to network drive. Well, first step, you will want to be in the, over here you, over here you can see the different areas on the machine. You'll want to be in program manager, which the machine will start up in. And then you go network drive, and you press the input button. And then you can see how the A numbers are ordered using the arrows or the page up and down buttons. I'm going to scroll down to A 164, hit input, page down to 16490, and I'm cutting this new left. Once you highlight that part, press the execute soft key. It loads that program in and automatically moves you to the auto mode down here on the control. You'll also see up here on the screen that you're now in auto mode. This program is now ready to run. You need to put the correct stock on the table. Every program has the stock sizes within the first line or two. So you can see this is 20 inches long in X and 23 inches high in Y. The x-axis is the long axis that can be up to 120 inches, and the y-axis is the height that could be up to 60 inches. Normally, we run 4 foot by 10 foot sheets, which are 48 by 120 inches. If the program calls for 60 inch by 120, you'll need to run the 5 by 10 sheets on the upper pallet.